first mode is the cars and twitch. So this mode is really typically for cruising down the highway. It's for driving every day, which means only the two rear wheels are engaged. It's the quietest and most fuel efficient option with the most efficient performance for the car. Now, shifting between 2H and 4H can be done at any time in this car while moving. And that's the special thing about the Pajero is that up to speeds of 100 kilometers an hour, you can actually shift Four high is a mode that engage, engages all wheels. Now, what happens in this uh, option is that the wheels are not mechanically locked to the engine. The car uses something called VCU, which is viscous coupling unit technology, which is a fluid between the different plates inside uh, the 4x4 system, which means you don't have that direct lock to the engine in terms of power, but it distributes power to all four wheels. So by default, when you put this option on, this is uh, typically used for wet conditions on the highway, on the road, uh, slightly slippery, icy conditions, or a bit of sand here and there, you can engage this mode right here. So it's not meant for aggressive off-road driving, but it's meant for a little bit of off-road driving and slippery conditions on the road. And when you engage for age, what it does by default is it distributes the power based on 33% of the power goes to the front, and 67% goes to the back. And then the car will adjust the power all the way up to 50-50, uh, depending on the driving conditions and the speed you're driving on So and, and the need. So the car will vary the power being distributed between the front and back, depending on the conditions. Now, there's a lot of debate on the 4H, whether we can use it off-road. Some people do like to use it off-road. We do a lot of sand driving here, so some people swear by it and they drive on 4H. However, one thing to note about the Pajero, which is very different to many other cars, is that the 4H, as I said earlier, is not a mechanical lock of the, 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 the differentials and the, the, the 4x4 system. It's really uh, based on the viscous coupling unit system, which is fluids uh, coming together, increasing the temperature and, and locking the wheels, which means long-term use can actually stress the VCU system. And it doesn't give you the ultimate lock and ultimate power distribution. So. Personally, I wouldn't really use it actively while doing serious off-road driving. However, some people do swear by it, and there's a bit of a differing opinion here. All right, so now we will explain the 4HLC system, which is the 4-high with the locked central differential to 4HLC. So with this mode, uh, when, when the car is engaged, or, sorry, the 4x4 system is engaged, it means you've got a mechanical lock between the engine and the wheels. Unlike the previous setting, 4H, which was based on the VCU, which is a fluid-based locking system, this one is an actual mechanical lock, and this is where you use it for serious off-road driving. Uh, typically, in sand driving, we use 4HLC and 4LLC in different conditions, and we'll talk about that. However, in this mode, you've now got a 50-50 power distribution, lock distribution between the front and the rear tires. You get also the full normal speed since this is a four high setting, so you can go up to high speeds in this mode. In desert driving and rock driving, this is the mode that we use in normal driving. And if you wanted a much more aggressive setting with more torque, you obviously move over to four LLC and we'll talk about it in a bit. And now we get over to our final gear, which is the 4LLC, and it stands for four-wheel drive in low range with the locked central differential. This is the most aggressive setting between all of them. To shift over to this mode, your car should be fully stopped again in neutral, and then you can shift up. Once this gear is engaged, what it does is it puts the car in uh, low range mode, which means according to the manual, it could drive up to a maximum of 70 kilometers an hour. This is the maximum speed of the car. However, what you do get is you get maximum power from zero to, to 70, and you get also a maximum torque throughout the different range. This is a mode that drives the car almost like a tractor, and it has very high crawling power at low speeds. This is typically used for sticky situations where you need that maximum power from the start, whether it's rough terrain, whether it's very sticky mud, or it's very deep snow or deep sand. And you need that quick start, and this is where you shift over to the setting, and it's a very aggressive driving mode, and you can feel the car becomes ultra aggressive in this mode. 
in desert and sand off-road driving, which is where we do most of our driving, um, some people like to actually use this mode because it gives them the maximum response and quick power. And it's useful when you don't need very high speeds. So again, the modes that you want to use off-road and purely off-road and you cannot use on the roads are the 4 LLC and the 4 HLC. These two modes are to be used purely in off-road driving and never on the roads. And then when we get to 4H, this is where you can actually use it on the highway for very soft off-road driving, a bit of slippery conditions. And also according to the manual, you can actually use this when you're towing other vehicles, you should put it into 4H. So this is an explanation of the overall Mitsubishi Pajero Super Select system. It's quite an advanced system, very easy to use and very easy to shift between the different ranges. We hope you found this video useful. And if you do have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Thank you.